Hi, this is Richard Chamberlain. Welcome back to the Protecting Your Family's Future podcast. This is episode number 34, and today we're going to be talking about estate planning if you're single. Now, I was talking to a client the other day about uh, the estate planning needs of single people, and, and so there, there are some issues that really came up that were important, and so I wanted to share that with you today on this podcast. Now, you might be single because you are uh, divorced, you might be widowed, uh, you might have never been married. Uh, it, it doesn't matter how you're single or why you're single, it matters that you are single. Now, as a single person, you have estate planning needs just like a married person does. Uh, they're slightly different though, but still just as important to address. When you are single, you don't have that person, that spouse, who is kind of the natural person to step in and take over and help you with things if you become incapacitated. You know, a married person, they might be joint on their accounts. And, you know, if you don't have that, then you need to make sure that there's somebody to take care of things if you if you uh, aren't able to take care of them yourselves. So a couple of uh, really important, um, I guess, areas that need to be addressed uh, if you're a single person. Number one, you need to make sure that you will have someone or, or a series of people who can take care of things if you become incapacitated. You're going to need to make sure that your property and financial affairs, your real estate, your bank accounts, your investments, your retirement accounts, that they can be managed by the right people for you if you get to the point where you're not able to handle things on your own. And, you know, the, the, the answer to who that might be will depend on your personal circumstances. You know, you might have adult children that you would put in that role. You might not, and you might need to put uh, parents or siblings or, or trusted friends into those roles. So having someone to manage your property and financial affairs for you if you become incapacitated is critically important. In the same way, having someone make medical decisions for you uh, is also something that you need to address. You, again, would name either your children or parents or siblings or, or someone that you trust uh, through a medical power of attorney, give them the authority to make medical decisions for you if you can't handle these things for yourself. Now, the second uh, area that, of course, needs to be addressed is who is going to receive your property when you pass away? And, 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 and similarly to the first, who's going to handle that for you? Who's going to do the administration of your estate? And again, that's going to be important to choose the right people. It could be any of the people we've mentioned before. And of course, you know, if your children are minors and you want to name your children as beneficiaries, there are special considerations that need to be taken into account. Uh, we did a podcast episode on that. I'd encourage you to go back and listen to that one. If your children are adults, there are issues about how you might distribute assets to them to protect them. Uh, if you don't have children, we're going to be talking about that next week. So tune in for that one. Uh, we're going to be talking about estate planning if you don't have kids and the special issues that come up with that. So to wrap it up, I would say if you are a single person, uh, it's important, of course, to have an estate plan. It's, a, it's important for everyone to have an estate plan. But for single people, I think it is more important uh, for you to have certain things taken care of so that if you're incapacitated, the right people can take care of things for you. Uh, so make sure you talk to an experienced estate planning attorney about how to plan your estate so that if these issues come up, you will be able to be taken care of properly, your finances and your medical decisions. Uh, so if you have questions about your own estate planning and you want to meet with us, uh, our uh, contact information is in the show notes. You can just click on that and request an appointment with one of us. So I hope that's helpful for you today, and we'll see you next week.